Welcome back to a pick a video with me and Ricky. <laughs> it's honestly been like a year and a half, maybe two years. I don't remember the last pick a video I did. We, have, I know, and it, it, it's funny because this wasn't even supposed to happen. Mort was supposed to come over and he, I think he got a little sick and he was like, hey, I can't do it. Text Ricky late at night and he's like, I'll do it for the team. Ricky put his clothes back on. He was he was doing like a naked little uh, tub bath at his house. And then he came over here. I honestly thought we were going out hunting. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Pick up, Ricky. You you are the captain of the crew. You got to start us off. What you starting us off with, bro? I'm not the captain, but the captain. I'll start off with this. Actually, I got this from Jay. Jay came over to he wanted to check out the game room, but he hadn't. He found this game gear. I think it was an extra one, but I got the blue game gear, so I need to switch out these guts because my blue game gear does not work. The blue game gear is the Lion King one. Yeah, remember we got got it with Jer? I remember <laughs> a long time ago. That was awesome. <laughs> what this battery pack? It always looks like a shaver it, from far away. It, it really does, and I'd love to pull it out, but it's really stuck. I could use a shave right now, too, so maybe I should, uh... Not gonna lie, Ricky, today I pulled out a couple gray hairs out of my, my chin. But awesome game gear, dude. Thanks. Very cool. I leave the grays. Salt and pepper. You like you like the gray hairs? Uh... Until they get out of control. We're getting old. Actually, I don't like them right now. When I, when I get the Brett, Brett Favre ones, then I'll be like, okay, That's good gray. Sick. That's good gray. Brett, Brett Favre... I love how we're we brought out a game gear. Didn't even really talk about the game gear. Good way to start. That's how our pickups go. Whatever. <laughs> my first pickup is a pickup I got this weekend. Randomly went garage sailing with my wife. And this kid, and I mean kid, walks out of a garage sale holding this. This case alone sells easily 20 to 40 bucks online. The kid goes, just walking out. I go, how much, how much for those Hot Wheels? I don't know anything about Hot Wheels. And he goes, five bucks. And I go, I'll take it. I don't even pick up the what's this yet. I don't even know if anything's in it. But when I opened it, Sweet Lord, it is packed to the brim with retro Hot Wheels, old Hot Wheels, Matchbox. Come to find out, I messaged my buddy Chase after the right price. I'm like, check out this. I don't really know about Matchbox. He's like, holy cow, you got a bunch of red lines in there. Apparently there's a Hot Wheels with red lines around it. A bunch of really cool classic ones from other companies called Corgi, different stuff like that. Ricky's putting them all in his pocket right now, but I don't blame you. Ricky, I wouldn't even notice. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? You want a you you red line one? A police car with the red line on? Look at that one. Damn, that's that's actually pretty sick. He's, what is that? Ooh. So, again, I know nothing about Hot Wheels, Matchbox, car collecting, anything like that. But, dang. You got the Cougar? I am a Cougar. Did you know there was a point where these cars were cars? All right, so for my next pickup, it actually isn't games. But I did get this. I managed to snag this because I know I'll never ever end up getting the full blown one because they are really expensive. It's actually it's actually Fortress Maximus, but someone had it displayed as Metroplex for 25 bucks. So I said, missing the head, missing a couple things, but you know what? Still pretty cool display piece for 25 bucks. If I remember correctly, you have a newer Fortress Maximus at your house? Yeah. Is Fortress Maximus like always giant? Yes. Because this is huge and, and I equivalent it to like the Megazord. This is like Megazord <laughs> big. This is huge, dude. Dude, it's it's sick. I was wow, happy to get it. that's a beautiful Transformers right there. Can I feel that? Yeah. Wow, that is heavy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It, because it's plasticky. It looks like plastic. So my brain is like, it's gonna be cheapish. Ricky, this is this is gusto. I know, I, dude. I'm not. You know what I'm excited for to actually look for the pieces. Oh yeah, that it's kind of dumb. I wish I had it all, but that's like sub collecting, which I'm enjoying lately. Like grabbing random things that you didn't think you were gonna collect, and then you're like, oh, I need to get the little piece for that and this for that. It makes kind of fun. So for now, I'm just gonna like put a little piece of paper right here with the face on it. That way, I'm like, oh, complete. Hey you, with the face. <laughs> I used to play an arcade game by my house when you would walk by it would say that. Hey you! And I'd be like, huh, I'd be like, with the face. I'm like, that must be me. <laughs> Can't see him. Lately, I've been collecting stuff in the box for Star Wars toys. Weirdly enough, because I'm not like super into keeping stuff in the box when it comes to toys, but for some reason, I'm keeping my Star Wars stuff in the box, and this stuff has caught my eye more than anything. Ooh. Star Wars micro machine stuff in the box. Ricky, look at these, dude. dude. Like, take a closer look 
you had, me had a lot of these. Fed. Dude, this is beautiful. Look at this Boba Fett. It still has the KB Toys original I, price. Look at that. I, I did notice that. I also got the, the Endor one. I got the Planet Tatooine with Jabba the Hutt. And I love this space series of Micro Machines. It has a really cool box art style. It looks really beautiful. Back in the day, Galoob started, up, started Micro Machines. And there was a time where Micro Machines was actually making more money than Matchbox and Hot Wheels combined. That's crazy. Yeah, so there was a time where Micro Machines were killing it. I know they've done, I think they relaunched and to do some stuff with Force Awakens when that came out, but I think they stopped after Rogue One. But yeah, dude, these in the box are just absolutely gorgeous dude, to look at. These were awesome back in the day. Did So did you play with Micro Machines ever or more, did you more like look at Micro Machines? I had some, but I, ha I think I had C-3PO. <laughs> Really? <laughs> you know the head one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a kid, I think that's the only one I got. I never played with Micro Machines, but I always had Micro Machines because I feel like it was always so hard to play with, so to say, because it was so small. Yeah. It didn't feel big and lifelike, but man, beautiful. I have so much Star Wars stuff now in the box that I've been getting. Micro Machines has kind of captured my heart a little bit. Uh, I didn't think it would. It wasn't something I ever found myself to be super interested in, but I have it saved on like my Mercari and Offer Up and all those things. If you would have dropped that, I would have thrown your Fortress Maximus in the ground. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> I know. Give me back my toys. Look at these two. I know, dude. Those are sick. I think the Shadows of the Empire one is the, my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Star Trek, I actually got this Vader. It's the carbonized one. What is this? It's the Black Series carbonized Vader. He's like blue, purple, I don't know. He's, yeah, he has like a bluish black tint. He's really beautiful though. Are these pricey, Ricky? I have no idea what these go for. Anything like that. Uh, I think they're like 30 bucks or something. Nothing nothing crazy, but yeah. they're pretty cool. I mean, I feel like no one collects Vader that much anymore. Gabo like likes it's, Vader, but. I feel like it's more Mando, which yeah. I gotta say, Mando's pretty cool. Mandalorian's been a good revival for me because not hating on the newer Star Wars, but wasn't as in love with the newer Star Wars as I was hoping I'd be. I did like the first one though, The Force Awakens. It was good. I like I, I like them. But, but Mando is it's like a Western Star Wars. Oh, see you later, Vader. Have you ever collected something and you're like, this is so cool when you pick it up and then you got home and you're like, why did I buy that? Yeah. I got a Fred Flintstone Big Mouth Eater <laughs> thing. What the heck is that? I went, I went to book off a couple days ago in Lakewood and they had this. It, I, I got it and I still do love the colors. And I was like, maybe I'll start collecting more stuff for the Flintstones. I have like one other thing from the Flintstones that I got. Don't really know why I got this. Flintstones came out 1960? <laughs> Dude, it's pretty old. I, I don't know. I think 1960 was the official air date of the Flintstones. And we got the movies in the 90s, which this is based off of. But apparently, there's a whole bunch of these, all the different characters that have, and they're like the Big Mouth series. It's pretty cool. It, I mean, if you want, I'll trade it for like your Fortress Maximus. No. <laughs> I gotta admit though, I love those old cartoons. They were honestly legit. I actually really like the Flintstones. But dude, it's good. The, it's them and the Jetsons? There's a lot of vintage style cartoons that are not just like 80s, 90s, but like the early like 60s, 70s that I wasn't really into, but I definitely admit Jetsons and Flintstones, I like genuinely like. And I think the Flintstones, I watched it not too long ago. Yeah. And I was like, nope, some of this wouldn't fly nowadays. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Well, this is a gaming show, so I'm glad I brought games. Yeah, when I'm like, Ricky, bring some pickups. He's like, what should I bring? I'm like, have you bought any games lately? He's like, yeah. I'm like, good, because I've bought nothing but toys. I was actually really happy to get this one because this is my second copy now. Really? Yeah. Thank you. This honestly is one of the best Contra games, dude. It's so good. There's a lot of good Contra games, but I would say this is top five or six. Yeah, it's actually really good. I, I like it a lot. I like a lot. Sound effects too in this game is good. That's a really good game. And then, you know, I got these two. I actually really enjoy this game. This is one, how do I compare this? This is like a samurai, what's that samurai game? Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors. It's like Legend of Zelda meets Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, man. I, I like it a lot. There's people giving it hate, but not I mean, I liked it. Well, apparently we have like a whole new one coming on the Switch or something. I, I again, not the biggest up to date with that, but there's like a new Switch game completely that's apparently part of like the Breath of the Wild pre-story. Ooh. From what I hear, from what I hear, I'm not wood. I don't know everything about the Switch.
and Spider-Man. I didn't play it, so I don't know what it's like. You've never played it? Hey, we got Spider-Man <laughs> coming on PlayStation 5 and 4. Thanks for the good description on this game, Ricky. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not I'm not gonna be like, let me look it up real quick. All you have to do is you do this, you go, I got this game, and then you cover your eyes on the camera and you just read the back. I got this game. Spidey returns to Manhattan with free roaming, web slinging action. <laughs> I, I would have almost believed you. <laughs> I went to the swap meet on my lunch break the other day. I was working right across the street and I grabbed a toy lot. Nothing really like highlighting on its own, but I got all of this for 10 bucks. Got some Beetleborgs. Is that what this is? Beetlebots? Beetleborgs? Beetleborgs. Exactly. Beetleborgs. I got, look, I've never seen this little Nintendo clock. I got a little Ooh. Nintendo clock that spins. I've seen the Yoshi one, but not this one. Yeah, normally when I see this kind of stuff, I'm like, oh, it's like the McDonald's or Burger King stuff that I've seen a million times. But that one I've never seen. Got some Exo Squad in here. Some bootleg Power Rangers and then some official Power Rangers. I like how big this guy is, by the way, the Red Ranger. I also heard in real life the Red Ranger stabbed someone with a sword. Is that real? I don't know. Like in anger. And then I got this guy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I can never remember his name. And I just asked Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out. He told me and I still can't remember. So I got all this for 10 bucks. Nice. Ricky, 20 bucks? A dollar. Each? No. <laughs> I hate that stuff. So I got this from Jay as well. I've actually been looking for one of these, but I'm such a cheapo that I have to find it for the right price. And I finally did. It was free. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got, just got really jealous when you pulled that out, dude. I've been looking for it forever and, dude, we're, we're ding-dongs, because honestly, we used to run into this for like 15 bucks and we're like, no, or too much. Or think cheaper. I think cheaper. <laughs> we were like, no, that's a rip, bro. Oh, you don't have the bottom piece? Forget it. Wow. <laughs> you know where that would look really good, honestly? What? Watch out, Ricky, you're blocking everyone's view. Wow, Ricky, right in between all the Xbox stuff, Wow. Dang, that does look good. Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> My next item was sent to me by Chase from Chase After the Right Price. Dude, he sent me a Cyberpunk controller. And by the way, still sealed. I have not cracked the seal yet. Basically, long story short, he was doing some upgrades to his channel, making his videos look a little better. And I was like, hey dude, you should get like a cool end screen. Basically, I went on to make him an end screen. I didn't ask for anything, I didn't want anything. I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna make you an end screen. Made him a cool flashy one. And then he's like, hey, what's your address? I wanna send you something. I didn't expect him to send me this, but it's really cool. On the back, it says, Riff, you're handsome, good looking, strong, everything I've ever wanted to be in a man. I did not, I do not see that at all. It actually says you and Ricky were the reason I started making <laughs> YouTube videos. That's really nice of him. Chase, Chase, such a cool guy. Really good at flipping games. If you're into that, I know some people don't like it. Buying, selling, flipping and all that. He's awesome at it. Makes a great living off it. This is beautiful. Thank you so much, Chase. Cyberpunk controller. This should be Ricky's because he's a punk. Pat the cyberpunk. <laughs> Never thought about that. Hmm. All right, so another thing I got was it could be a knockoff, honestly. <laughs> it probably is, but it's this sweet Optimus Prime. It's supposedly a masterpiece one. It's a uh, it's a little bigger than the usual one, which I kind of like. So you think it might be a knockoff, but you're not sure. Yeah, I'm not. Can I feel it? Yeah, I'm a master at knowing these things. Just kidding, I'm horrible at this, but I gotta say this is pretty heavy, dude. This feels like pretty legit. That's a heavy sword. Dude, to me this feels legit as can be. But from feel, again, this doesn't feel like a bootleg. There was way too much density in, in that metal and that die cast, whatever it is, in my opinion. I mean, it's cool. Where'd and you it get was, it? Uh, unknown. You don't wanna tell people how you got it. You stole it from an elderly woman, that's my guess. Shh, I know you, dude. That <laughs> disgusts me. No, I got it online. From an old woman? Probably. You disgust me. <laughs> oh, what is that? So I also got a Nerf gun. Is it really? No, it's actually uh, it's a Transformer. It just looks like a Nerf gun. It's uh, it's actually Megatron. I don't want to transform him because it took me a long time to transform him into this. Don't transform him back. <laughs> I don't want to transform him. That's the one reason I don't collect Transformers. I never know how to use the things. I get it's frustrated. It's like when I go into a bin and cords are everywhere. I'm like, I can't do this. That's how I feel when I'm with Transformers. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, look at this thing. I had to pick it up. Did you have to? No. From an old lady too, it's messed up, dude. Yeah. Riff and Mort, 
talking about stuff. I thought this was really cool and I wasn't alone because I sent this to a couple friends, Retro Rick, NES Addict. And they're huge Home Alone fans like I am. This is Home Alone 2, but it's a Home Alone 2 behind the scenes VHS that's still sealed. And it's cool because something they pointed out that that was really cool, like what's it have to do with LA Gear? LA Gear is a super retro style company. It has like the Fox video stickers on the seal. So it just has like those little things that kind of make it a little extra cool. For me, Home Alone 2, super cool, but to have the the behind the scenes, still sealed. LA Gear mentions the Fox Studio on the sticker seal. You know what this looks like to me too? It yep. reminds me of the stickered seal Super Mario Brothers 3, the big oh, yellow box. It, it kind of has that look and vibe to it, so. I actually thought you were gonna say uh, like the cover of Dumb and Dumber. I was like, yes, yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. That's a good movie. That is a good movie. Well, see you later. <laughs> I stepped on the stupid dog's cage and I cut my foot open. <laughs> So for my last pickup, I, I actually wasn't going to pick this up, but it was too cool not to pass on. It was a, a Diablo 3 skateboard from Blizzard. Dude, I actually looked at these. They're pretty uh, pricey. Like a lot pricey. What was it? A few hundred bucks or something for that deck? Yeah. So this is one of those things, to be honest, where it should be on my wall because I have another deck back there. No, but in reality, Ricky, this uh, I wouldn't skate this for anything. Blizzard. Oh, it says fresh meat up here. It's got the dark red, the atmosphere has, I'm not a blizzard guy, so I don't know who this is, so I'm probably wrong. It has like a devil looking guy on here, really dark. Oh, it has writing in here too, Ricky. This is cool though, Ricky. Again, really cool of Ricky to say everything that he brought today was gonna be in my game room and <laughs> offered to me as a sacrifice. That's all, uh, well, that's all of our pickups that we got. No, actually we had a lot more pickups, we just, we can't do too much, you know? I gotta get B-roll of all this stuff. It's gonna take me a long time to edit this. I'm only one man. Ricky can start editing, though. What What did it feel like to be in a pickup video that we haven't done in a long time? We're considered some of the OGs, dude. If you came on new to this show, Pixel Game Squad isn't where we started. We started way back in the day. Remember back in the day when it was like a sin to sell your stuff? <laughs> All right, that's it. Make sure to unsubscribe, dislike the video, and talk trash in the comments and say something politically that makes no sense. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Close it out, Ricky. It's all you. I am? Yep. I can. He's probably going to try to take the skateboard or something. I can't already tell. Or he's going to whack me across the head. I would never do that. What's on my ground right there? My feet. Oh, it's, dude, I thought, it, I saw the mic and I was like, dude, what is that on the ground? It's a microphone, you idiot. <laughs>